now we sit back, relax, enjoy the show, bitches. What's up, friends and neighbors, and welcome back to another video. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, this is going to be my first in a series of drunk gaming. It's going to be awesome. I've had like two drinks already, and I've got two more at the ready, um, ready to go for as we play, so that'll be fun. Um, and today we're playing The Oregon Trail, so that's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. My goal is to make it to the end. Um, also, I'm just going to apologize about the lighting right now. I know it's atrocious, okay? I know it's really bad. There's nothing I can do about it. So hang in there. We're going to do our best. Um, should be a lot of fun, and let's get to it. Okay, you may travel the trail, learn about the trail, see the Oregon top. Okay, no. Travel the trail. Let's do this. I'm from Ohio, so I feel like I have to be a carpenter from Ohio. What is the first name of the wagon leader? Lima Bean. The other members in your party. Um, I don't know. Uh, White Claw. Ruby Grapefruit. Oh, that's too long. Ruby grape then. And black chair. Black chair. No, that sounds really bad. Black chair. Maybe not. Tiny Tim. And Jimmy John. We got this. It is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Do we want to leave in March, April, May, June, July, or ask for advice? Uh, let's go with April. I feel like it's early enough. It'll still be, it'll give us plenty of time, but it won't be totally freezing like it would be in March. So April it is. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $800 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Okay. Oxen. I would like to buy some oxen. I think I would like... Let's do three. Three yoke of oxen. Food. Take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. We have five people. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. 20 cents a pound. This requires math. Didn't think this through. Okay, so it's going to be a thousand pounds of food. That's a lot of fucking food. Let's, let's do it. Did I do that math right? I think so. Clothing. At least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. We have five people, so let's do 10 sets of clothes. Ammunition. I love the hunting in this game. All right, so ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box costs $2. How many boxes do you want? I don't know. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, five boxes. And spare parts. Let's do two wheels, two axles, two tongues. April 1st, 1848. The weather is cool, our health is good, our pace is steady, and our rations are filling. Let's just continue right on that trail. 102 miles to the Kansas, I skipped it. <laughs> Oops. 102 miles to Kansas or something like that. All right, so we're doing good. We're trucking right along. Looks like we're coming up to a river, so that'll be exciting. Oh no, Ruby Grape has a broken leg. <laughs> Fuck that. Ruby will have to suck it up. We're at the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Obviously. Stunning, isn't it? All right, we are going to continue. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 629 feet across and five feet deep in the middle. The weather is cool. We may attempt to ford the river, caulk the wagon and float it across, take a ferry across. Hi, Amelia. Take a ferry across. Wait to see if conditions improve or get more information. 
Let's caulk it. I'm a sucker for some caulk. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Ah, we made it. All right, from the Kansas River Crossing, it is 82 miles to the Big Blue River Crossing. It is currently April 8th. The weather is cool, health is good. We have lots of food and have traveled 103 miles. Here we go. We're doing great. Trucking right along. The weather's warm now. Let's be getting into the middle of April. We're at the Big Blue River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Obviously. Oh, look at that. We've got some oxen crossing the river and some trees. Stunning. We've got to cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 235 feet across, three and a half feet, 3.1 feet deep in the middle. We can attempt to ford the river, caulk the wagon, or wait to see if conditions improve. You already know we're going to caulk it. We love some caulk. Caulk that wagon, bitch. Here we go. We have caulked the wagon. We are crossing. It's happening. I think we're going to make it. Yay, we made it. All right, it's April 22nd. We are trucking along. Oh, God, there's a severe blizzard and we lost today. That's no good at all. Let's stop for a minute and let's hunt. I like hunting. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's what I wanted. We got a 971 pounds of meat, but we were only able to carry 100 of it back to the wagon. Bummer. Let's continue. You find an abandoned wagon with the following. One set of clothing and 42 bullets. Uh, let's keep going. There it is. That's a rock and it looks like a chimney. It is May 9th, 1848. A great year. Let's continue. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to some people. Chimney Rock by Moonlight is awfully sublime. Many Indians came to, many Native Americans came to our wagon with fish to exchange for clothing. We bought a number. We bought a number. What number did you buy? They understand swap and no swap. Seem most anxious to get shirts and socks. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's look at the gravesite. Yes. Here lies Voland. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play. That's super creepy, Voland. Don't ever say that again. And I think we are at the fort. Yes, we want to look around. Beautiful. Check that shit out. Look at them. Some Native Americans, some not Native Americans, a small horse. What more could you want? Let's talk to some people. A woman traveler. She doesn't get a name because we're not feminists here. A woman traveler tells you, be warned, stranger, don't dig a water hole, drink only river water. Salty as the Platte River is, it's better than the cholera. It's better than the cholera. We buried my, oh Jesus, we buried my husband last week. Could use some help with this harness if you could spare the time. I hope we helped her. I mean, that wasn't an option, but I hope we helped her. Oh God, one of the oxen died. We're going, we're going. We have very little water. We might die of dysentery. I don't know. But now the water is bad. They told us not to drink the cholera water. Apparently that's what we're doing. I don't know. We're at Independence Rock. Yes, I want to look around. Big Louie tells us. Goodbye, Platte River. Goodbye, Sand Hills and White Buffalo Skulls. Now we climb the Sweetwater Valley to cross the continent. <laughs> to cross the Continental Divide at South Pass. Once across the Rockies, we'll make a steep descent into the Green River Valley. Sounds like he's got a dream. Let's keep going. It's gonna catch up with me eventually. It's fine. Oh shit, I missed it. A squirrel. A squirrel. Damn, I missed it again. Damn, I missed it again. Oh, hi babe, how's it going? Some people have their girlfriends come and pop in on their videos. Nope, I have my cat. We're gonna hunt until we shoot something, all right? It's happening. I'm getting, I'm getting an animal. Damn. Fuck yeah, we got a deer. All right, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. All right, so I got one thing to say about this, and that's that the Native Americans are not white. All right? They ain't white. Oh no, decision time. The trail divides here. You may 
head for Green River Crossing, head for Fort Bridger, or look at the map. Let's look at the map. I'm bad at maps, but let's look. Oh God, okay. Oh my God, we're like halfway there. I think we're gonna make it, guys. I think we're gonna make it. All right, so I'm feeling like we should head for Fort Bridger. I know it's south. It's a less direct route, but I feel like we can stock up on supplies, maybe do some trading. Am I slurring my words? Let's open our next drink. Black Cherry White Claw. Pretty sure you have a child named White Claw. And hopefully from there, we'll be able to cross the river. Keep on going to Oregon. From Fort Bridger, it's 162 miles to Soda Springs. Soda Springs. I have 234 pounds of food, which means we'll need to do some hunting. I think I'm slurring my words. I don't really know. We've gone 1,057 miles, which like, Good job, guys. We fucking did it. We've made it over a thousand miles. Our next landmark is 162 miles away. Let's get going. Let's stop to rest for like two days. So I wasn't doing that before. And let's continue. Here we go. We're trucking along. We're gonna need to hunt soon. Oh, yes. Let's repair the broken wagon wheel. Oh, we couldn't fix it. <sighs> Must replace with a spare part. Okay. Here we go, we're gone, we're gone, let's hunt. We're running low on food. And a bear, and a bear, fuck. And a bear, yes, we got a bear, all right. It's drink number four, by the way. And when I said drink, I mean white claws. So like they're not super potent, but also I'm dehydrated as fuck. So, you know, it's hitting, it's hitting. All right, we shot 197 pounds of big, beefy bear meat. Oh, fuck yeah. However, we're only able to carry 100 because we're little bitches. So we're going to hunt again. And we're going to see if we can get ourselves another bear. I'm not shooting a bunny. Fine, I shot the bunny. We're at Soda Springs. Yes, we want to look around. Ah, oh, they look so relaxed and playful, you know? I'm glad that they're having some fun on this trip. Let's talk to some people. I, okay, I clicked trade, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I don't have 95 pounds of food. That's concerning. Now let's talk to people. A young boy tells us, my job every day is to find wood for the cook fire. Sometimes it's very hard to find enough, so I store extra pieces in a box under the wagon. On the prairie, I gathered buffalo chips to burn when there wasn't any wood. Wood. Buffalo chips are buffalo shit. Woo, woo. Okay, we have meager rations, uh, health is fair, weather is warm, a steady pace. Now um, we're gonna hunt one more time and then hope for the best. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, we got a bear, all right. We're good, we're gonna last the winter. Oh, oh, oh God. White claw went up my nose. Okay, let's look at the map. Let's see how far we've come, how far we have to go. So we've come a good distance. We're in Soda Springs right now. We still need to make it all the way to Oregon. This could take a hot minute. So let's continue. Ruby Grape has a broken arm. Ruby, get your shit together. We found wild fruit, yay! A f oh no, a fire in the wagon results in the loss of two wagon tongues. Damn, all right, so if you have a chance to buy or trade wagon tongue, if you have a chance to buy or trade wagon tongues, we definitely should, all right. We're at Fort Hall. Let's look around. Looks like a fort to me. 182 miles. Let's fucking go. White Claw is lost. We lost five days because we lost White Claw. Oh no. Oh no, Tiny Tim has typhoid. Tiny Tim has typhoid. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Oh shit, I think somebody just died and I missed it. Yeah, let's look at the grave site. Might be one of my children, I don't know. Here lies Jiffer, not one of my kids. All right, look at it, Snake River Crossing. Again, Native Americans, not white. Okay, now it's just frozen. This is a bad idea, this is a bad idea. I think my game is crashing. It's all frozen. Okay, I'm gonna hit refresh and see what happens. If it starts back at the beginning, I don't know if I can do this again. 
Fuck everything. I guess that means we didn't make it to Oregon? Anyways, that's all for now, friends. I don't really have the time or the patience to do all of that again. I just don't. I do not have the time or patience to do all of that again. So this is what you get. If I keep drinking, I'm going to end up with my head in the toilet. I don't think anybody wants that. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. I have other games I can play that hopefully won't crash this time. Because that would be really, that would be a big old bummer. Catch y'all next time. Bye.